Hey guys, uh, another morning, um, just woken up, um, and I completely, stupidly didn't even think um, that some of you, uh, some of you people who just happened across my videos, you're probably thinking, who the hell is this guy? Um, and you're right, I never actually did a, uh, an origin uh, video, comic boy. So yeah, I'm going to tell you uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, hi, I'm Robin, uh, British, and I'm, uh, I'm a dancer. Uh, trained classically, uh, then I learned at the styles, contemporary, modern jazz, tap, all that palaver at school, in a big uh, contemporary company in England called Rombe. Uh, that's spelled R-A-M-B-E-R-T. If you want to go check them out, I suggest you do. Very good company. Um, I was there for 12 years and now I am, I'm a freelance dancer, so um, yeah, I go from job to job uh, whenever they turn up. Uh, so that's how I landed myself here. I am doing, uh, I'm performing in the Adelaide Arts Festival in an opera, which is, oh, right at the front. So this is what I'm in. Uh, Saul. Um, I did this, performed this 2015 in Glyndebourne. It's a Glyndebourne production. Um, directed by Barry Kosky. Uh, who I think was, one, he's a Australian. Um, uh, and I think he ran this company, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, well, I don't know. I'll double check. Um, yeah, so I'm over here in Adelaide, rehearsing, and then we have performances next month in March. And then I'm going on a big trip around Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Um, so I never get the chance really to do it, because luckily, uh, I'm always working. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm taking this amazing opportunity to travel around. Uh, that's why I'm doing these videos f um, for... Kind of more for me, just to have them somewhere where I can put them all together and when I'm old and grey and wrinkly. Oh no, although I'm ginger, so we don't really go grey. Uh, anyway, when I'm old, because I will get old, um, yeah, I can sit back, crack on YouTube and, um, and then just, yeah, have a little giggle. So yeah, it's more for that and for my friends and family at home um, who, uh, if they want to join me on my adventure. Um, anyway, so yeah, that is, that's me. Uh, hi. Um, so, I don't know if you remember, I bought, I bought this hat the other day. Sunday. Love it. <sighs> went to the beach with it and it was quite windy and gust of wind and it just went, not cool. So now I heard that because it is leather, it does, um, it shrinks, it shrinks to your, to your head. But I think upon hearing the word shrink, I bought a uh, large, well it is, it is a large, um, but I think it's just too large. I did, I did try in a medium and it was, it was a nice snug fit. So, oh. After reading and doing research and blah, 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 um, yeah, I'm going to go and try and exchange it for a medium. I'm going to actually go to a proper hat shop, uh, get my head measured, and then get them to, like, fit it. Um, I'm so pernickety about these things. Like, it fits. It fits on, and it's good and stable, but with the wind, like, I'm travelling, and if, there's, if there is some wind, I'm on a boat, and a gust of wind goes goes by, and then, oh, that's my hat lost. So, I will not be a happy camper. So, yeah, I'm going to try and do that this morning, because I uh, don't start till late. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Um, I mean, and if you've seen them, and if you're thinking, why are you always, like, topless? It's because when I do these videos, I do them straight in the morning, uh, when I wake up, so shower, and then I uh, moisturize. So I've just put my moisturizer cream all over my neck and my arms, um, 
So that's why I do apologise. Once I am all good, no more of this. Just t-shirt. I will save your eyes. Um, right, so now, I haven't done a weather update in quite a few days. Um, let's have a look. Like, surprise, surprise, it's sunny. Um, but the actual temperature, Okay, I'm going to do a window, window, glass check. Because before, when it, last week, when it was 40, 41 degrees, like this was hot to touch. Now it's cold, which is nice. So as we venture, as we venture outside onto my world's smallest balcony, um, like it's cold. I, I am in the shade. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can't, for some reason, the BBC weather app, for me, is just not working. Um, so I don't know what it's going to be today, but I'm going to guess 24, 25, I think. I think it's going to go a little bit up from yesterday. Yesterday was quite cold. Like, yesterday was chilly in the morning. But no, sun's out. It's going to warm up. It's going to be a good day. Um, late rehearsal again. I think late rehearsal for the next couple of days. Which is... Uh, I mean, we get the morning off, but yeah, we finish at 10, so that's a bit of a bugger. Uh, anywho. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and go change my hat. And then uh, hit the gym again. Yeah, I'm a bit of a gym. I could say gym bunny, but no, that's a... No, gym fanatic. Well, not a fanatic, but I like going to the gym. Um, yeah, so that's me. So, catch you later. Tights and shorts and jumpers. I mean, this is their winter. So this is how they do it in Australia. Going, you can see, behind me, right, right, that dude. Uh, He's a fire. <laughs> oh my god, I completely forgot the word for them. Um, it's a fireman. Wow. <laughs> wow, Rob. He's a fireman. And uh, they're trying to sell their um, their topless uh, calendars. <laughs> He's just walking around opening the calendars to women. I mean, it is Valentine's Day here. Um, so, why not? <laughs> But that was funny. That was funny. Wow, I can't believe I forgot the word fireman. I went fire. Hmm. What's the second word? Wow. Right, I'm going in this uh, hat shop to uh, to properly fit one of these hats. I've already bought one, but I'm thinking I'm going to this proper hat shop, get it fit, go back to the shop where I originally bought it, and then uh hopefully exchange it. Hmm. So this is a medium. Like it's the same, it's just a tighter fit. It doesn't come off. Other one did. I'm gonna get some help. So just come out of the shop. Um, lady was super, wow, super helpful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go try and change mine for a medium. Uh, but yeah, she gave me another one. It was cattle leather, a bit deeper in the brim, I, even if that's the right word. Um, so yeah, a bit more space, not as hot. And she's saying when I go traveling, obviously because it's leather, it's going to be like really hot. Um, but yeah, this one, it's, it's cattle, it fit a bit better. Um, but yeah, I bought my, the one I did buy, like I bought it primarily because it's kangaroo. Um, you know, and I'm in Australia and I'm a sentimentalist. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, something to think about like, oh, I bought that hat in Australia and it's made a kangaroo. Cool. Um, sorry for all, all of you uh, vegetarians out there. <clears throat> um, uh, 
But yes, I'm going to go back, try and exchange it for a medium, and have a look what other styles they have. The cattle one did fit better, but it's cattle. And I've kind of got my heart set on this kangaroo one, but, uh, but we'll see. That's the thing. You get free golf buggy in town. How mad is that? It is all kicking off today. Oh. Looks like Adelaide's getting a new defibrillator. <laughs> Good job. In the shop. Right, it's a kangaroo. And it's longer here. Good. And a bit snug. I've got the same one in medium that I built before. It's a bit snugger. I'm thinking. I'm thinking this one. So much good stuff in here. Definitely buy a lot of stuff and send back a, a care package for my niece and nephews for their birthday. I mean, how cute! My little kangaroo puppets. I'm gonna spend so much money. Right, I've just picked up this uh, fringe booklet. I mean, luckily for us, the uh, alongside the festival, the, the the Adelaide Fringe is going on. Just think of the, I guess, Edinburgh Fringe Fringe Festival. I think it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. Look, you probably can't see this, so I'll just read it. Um, sunset ceremony. Tinto at Pundi. I probably absolutely annihilated that. Um, but yeah, special ceremony to recognize the living culture of the First Nations and pay respect to the spirit of the land. How awesome does that sound? Right, so I have just got back uh, from exchanging my hat. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy, I feel, I feel I've done the right thing. Changed it for a medium, still kangaroo. Um, but like the lady said in the shop, this bit is slightly uh, longer, um, so it will go lower onto my head and it will just give me um, just a little bit more protection. So I guess at the end of the day, that's why I've, uh, that's why I've got it. Good fit, good fit. Um, not too tight, not too loose. I think it's perfect because it will shrink. The other medium was tight, it felt just like it felt good, but as it does shrink, um, yeah, I feel it would just like popped my head off. Uh, but yeah, no, this feels good. Still on, that's my wind test, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm so happy, so happy. And it's actually, it's um, Rue Vintage. Um, mm -hmm. I guess, what, just old? Old kangaroo leather? I have no idea what it means by vintage, um, but I will go on and have a look on their website to see what it means. Um, but yeah, crazy, crazy happy, like all sorted now, boom. So I just got back, so quick gym sesh before I start work, I've got an hour and a half. Gym, crack, oh, they look terrible. Oh, that's awful, sorry, we'll never do that again. Um, yeah, gym, and, um, yeah, and then off to work. I was gonna say, see, I know I've said it before, but gecko gum? I give you, I mean, get some. Go get some, it's absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm using it for everything. Yeah, gecko gum, go get some. Just flipping through this little um, Adelaide guidebook. What do I come across? 
Where did I just buy my hat from? Grrr. Oh well. At least I get 10% off all the little gifts I'm going to buy my family. Um, yeah, just go to show. Always pick up a guidebook. You never know what you'll find. So, just got to the rehearsal venue and look. They've given every single one of us a mug and put our names on. Um, so, I guess if any of us... Basically, just not to spread germs, if you have any. I mean, that's... That's going... I mean, it's good, it's great, but... Just a little bit, a little bit anal, a little bit OCD, but brilliant. I mean, if you know me, I don't drink tea or coffee, so that never get used. Hey ho. Look, lemons, fresh lemons. Look at this zucchini courgette. Look at the size of it. That's ridiculous. Look at the size of those bad boys. <laughs> size 17. <laughs> Great. Oh. He can't speak. He doesn't. He can't speak properly. Okay. Because all inside his mouth is formed properly. So. Chorus warm up.